Hi, I'm a firefighter driver operator, Brennan Penland. I work for Sanford Airport Authority at Sanford Airport. And this is our new Oshkosh Striker 3000. Uh, take a look inside. Uh, they can hold up to three passengers, one driver, uh, two other passengers. Um, at our airport, we only staff one person per, per vehicle, and we have three vehicles at all time in operation. Uh, this truck is meant to be operated by one person. Right here, all the controls uh, are located conveniently right here, so one person can do it while driving. Uh, we have a high-reach extendable turret made by Snozzle. Uh, we also have a HVLA, which is high, high volume, low attack, um, and all these can be operated from the inside of the cab. All right, this is the HVLA, capable of flowing hydrochem, uh, 16 pounds per square or per second. Up top is our penetrating nozzle, used for cargo fires or aircraft fires, so you can get quick access and water on the fire. Uh, also have a hydrochem with 16 pounds per second. Uh, can flow up to a thousand gallons per minute. We have a 150 foot dry chem. We actually uh, flow purple K. This will flow five pounds per second uh, once engaged inside the cab. Uh, in this compartment, we'll, we'll have 200 feet of an inch and three quarter uh, pre-connect. Uh, the idea is as soon as you pull this, it's supposed to charge the line and uh, about it. it should it flow 100 psi and 125 gallons per minute. This is a operational pump panel. We can have suction, uh, priming, fill into a tank of 3,000 gallons. It can hold 420 gallons. We have a pneumatic foam fill, which can fill up to 28 gallons per minute, and you can discharge 28 gallons per minute um, using a hose. Um, also, you have foam fill pores here and water discharge here. Right here, we have a uh, foam indicator uh, lighting system. Green is full, when it goes down to red, that's below a uh, quarter of a tank. And that one is over there, will be our water tank fill. We have a Caterpillar 650 horsepower engine here with the Allison transmission. We have a TAC4 independent suspension uh, with an available quadra steer to help reduce on tire wear uh, and give us a little bit turning, better turning radius. Up top, we have a ladder gantry so that one person will be able to take it down from the back of the truck and reload their, the ladders. Uh, we have a 14 and a 24, or 16 and a 24 foot ladder in our department that we're gonna be putting on that. All right, this cabinet's supposed to make it easier to check fluids in the morning. Before you start up, you got your oil, um, hydro, or uh, cooling agent, fuel, Different air fil uh, different filters. Here we have two two alternators, uh, two ACs, engine belts. Here we have 200 feet of uh, electrical cord, extension cord. Uh, we also here carry our uh, ventilation fans and all additional air hose. Uh, here will be our nitrogen cylinders to help uh, propel the purple K out of system. This is our right side pre-connect. Again, it's going to have 200 feet of inch and three quarter, uh, 100 gallons, uh, 125 gallons per minute at 100 psi. Uh, we're at a discharge for a two and a half, uh, and our, another inlet so we can fill up the truck, hook it up to a tanker, uh, and another foam. This is our hydraulic generator. This part will be used mainly for our uh, hydraulic cutting tools and extrication tools. Um, up top, of course, you can see our snozzle. Uh, we have our um, overhead fill, where you can fill up our water and our foam from overhead. Uh, we have a rear gantry uh, ladder for our 24-foot ladder and our 16-foot ladder. It's supposed to be used so you can uh, one man can put it up and pull them down. As you can see, this is our truck, and we're really excited to have it. Uh, this is Brandon Penland from Sanford Airport. You guys have a good day.